Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Baratisa World. This is where we do matters gardening. Today we are in our banana farm. This banana farm is five years old. We are trying to revive it. Look at how it is. And after this, very soon I'll be recording after six months of doing a transformation into this garden, we shall be recording another video to show you how far we have come. Look at it. Bananas are heavy feeders and they are very poor competitors. That's why bananas, they don't really do well when you do intercropping. Though you can still do some intercropping. If at all you use mulching bags, you can do intercropping with cabbages. You can do intercropping with the managu. You can do intercropping with some yams. Though yams, I don't really advise to use the yams while intercropping. So on this farm here, look at our farm. Yes. And the bananas, the root system of the bananas, they normally crawl on the ground. So it doesn't need, really need other things to be closer to it to avoid competition when they are feeding. These ones, yes, they are giving us some fruits, they are giving, they are flowering, they are giving us some bananas, but it is, currently it is poorly kept. So we are working on it and see on how we can bring it out to be better. In fact, look at how it is. Poorly managed, but still we can be able to get some bananas. Like this one here, uh, that's a very good one. It's a nice one. When you want to keep bananas, basically try to make sure that it has got at least three or four suckers. The rest, you have to be removing them. That one is a healthy banana. Uh, this one, you have divided them into two. These ones are the ripening bananas. And on the other side, I will show you, we have got the bananas that are um, for cooking. Yes, so if you check around, you see this one here. Yes, that's a healthy banana. It's a very nice, it's a nice one. And you like it. Just one request from the good people that are watching this video. Kindly consider subscribing. Uh, look at this banana here. They are there. You, this is the sign of abundance. Some birds are coming there to feed on them. So we are doing very well. So the bananas are doing well. Are they even ripening? Even on the farm. This is great. And this is a good move. So as I was saying, I was trying to explain to you people that kindly consider subscribing to this channel because there are more videos coming in that are very educative on matters farming. Many people like to engage into farming and uh, this is the place to be. We have just started. We are now two months old on this channel and we are bringing the video slowly by slowly. Let us grow together. Kindly be part of this movement. Be part of this channel. And thank you so much for those who are subscribed. We are doing well. We are moving up in the right direction. And I must say thank you so much. So look at this banana here. This one here, uh, this one could be the third that on this team because we planted these bananas five years ago. Bananas will take almost 12 to 15 months to get your first harvest. Uh, this one's here. Uh, this one is also ripening. You look at the top there, it's also ripening. Though we tried to tr transplant um, together to intercrop with maize, but it's not really advisable. The only reason why we are intercropping with maize is because the other bananas that are behind there, they are still very small, very young. So instead of just keeping the farm just like that, we decided to intercrop with maize and beans. Uh, this stem here, it's a very successful one. If you check around, it has got almost three bananas that are ready to be harvested. Like this one on the market, you put on the market, this one should give you around $10. $10 is not a bad, it's not a bad sale. So, thank you so much, guys. And it rained heavily. Rains are very good for the bananas. Thank you.